so I bought a house and this is the driveway as you can see it has a ton of trees going all the way to the street um, and it's on both sides and that's my neighbor's house my new neighbors anyway the driveway is full of pine leaves and oak leaves but I'm in love with it it's a southern colonial style and this is the driveway leading up to the two-car garage um, the garage is actually connected to the house via the my work room and then um, I have a storage room so you'll get to see that this is the view of the front yard from this angle leading all the way back to the street over there and this home is it's more than 3,000 square foot heated and then it also has the unheated um, but uh, it is insulated garage and my workroom has an air conditioning but it's not insulated either and it's not included on the square footage there's also a detached garage which is one of the reasons we bought it we didn't want to have to store all of our lawn equipment but I'm super excited I'm just in love with this white siding the black roof and then the exterior lights and it has a ton of exit doors there are two that lead off the garage, one in the front, one in the back. Then there is, of course, the front porch um, exit door. And then there are two on the back of the house at the uh, back porch, covered porch. And then above is a screen porch. So this is the side and you can see the portico and the four columns, the brick pathway. My husband needs to get this red hose out of my yard. Um, so you would follow this path up and I don't like this thing here at all, but it was here when we got here um, It's a bird bath uh, Surrounded by some I guess they're supposed to be flowers, but they're yeah, that's not how that'll end up And then you turn around and you have these two steps leading up to the front porch and you can see all of that And, right down. and so we'll go in this way Okay, so this is the uh, living room. So it's the first room you see when you walk in. Um, staircase is right here. Uh, that's the door we just came through. And I'm sorry if the light is bothering anyone, but um, this is how I have to do it. But anyway, um, we just installed these curtains with the wooden rods. This project you should have seen it on already on my page if you follow me. Um, I posted that a couple weeks ago. That was fun. Now it's holding all my milk glass and silver. Um, these are the six foot uh, windows and they flank both sides of this room. So I love those floor to ceiling windows. And then um, this table video coming soon. Uh, got a new couch. I believe that came from I don't know where that came from. Maybe it was roots to go. And then I just got my fiddly fig tree. In love with that. And then this is the room from a different angle. Got some mirrors up. Um, that table project right there we did. Also, you can find that video. Um, and I love this room. Um, it's my sanctuary. People don't really come in here to sit, and I made sure of that by not putting a TV in here, but this house is big enough that they find space ev elsewhere. Um, and then this is the dining room, and I love that this house, because it's a colonial, it's really traditional, which I love, um, so it's its own room. We still have to do paint color in here, but as you can see, um, it even has the brass chandelier, which is very 80s. Um, and we 
literally just put up all of the finished unpacking all of the boxes in this room and if you don't know we moved into this house about wow two months ago now and then I've organized all of our cleaning supplies underneath the stairs so that's really I don't know if you get a good look at it but that's how we have it right now eventually we'll rip up that um, carpet and then I hang my extra throw rugs there bunch of doors in this house now this is the way that we came in and then this of course is the dining room so you could either go left or right we'll go this way first into the kitchen which is a pretty nice size um, it's rectangular shape these countertops are tile I don't like them at all that sink I love it's very deep and it's separated so I love that um, we got all new appliances except the fridge because the fridge we got wouldn't fit in here but that's a really great fridge that that one there um, and then down through there is my workroom which leads into the two-car garage so this room I also like these cabinets will of course stay but we may paint them but we definitely have to do something with these countertops I don't like them house gets a not a lot of natural light um, not only because of the big windows but there are five doors as I pointed out and here is one of the two that comes out onto the back patio um, it is a covered patio so there's ceiling um, and then it has this rough iron side right here leading down and then uh, I don't know if they ripped it out or it just didn't exist but they have the wood railings going all the way around so the iron railing is what I like and we will eventually replace all of this wood with the iron uh, we come out here it feels great today it's about 67 degrees right now so that's really nice and really sunny so we come out here and rock in the rocking chairs every now and again um, we haven't finished this area so we still have a lot of work to do and then if you come back here here's the other door and the laundry room is just beyond that so you get to see that there's our detached garage so we have actually three garage spaces two attached and the one detached which we just use for like lawn equipment and that sort of thing and then the back yard is very private um, I love it through those trees I don't know if you can see the blue of the water but there's water the lake um, is back there um, and in the fall time I was told that once the trees thin out you get a really great view of that and then this patio you can go down and it leads to brick walkway and then you have another walkway here with two steps down that goes to a wooded area and then there's one of the other doors from the back of the garage that exits out and then I wanted to show the Sun room that room up there is huge it's the same size as the um, deck I mean I'm sorry the patio below but it's a sunroom it's an all all weather room so that would be great once it gets cold to go out there and and chill so let's go back up and in because I don't want this video to be too long so we're back in the kitchen and let me just take you through to my office slash workroom I do work from home so that's that area there and then this is these ceilings are much higher because you have to come down a couple of steps just to get in here um, the windows are still six feet but you have more space at the bottom so I love that and then it has this big whiteboard that I do some planning on but this is my area and that's going back into the kitchen and my dog he loves to he goes wherever I go so he'll stay there all day until I get off work this is my storage room and it's where all of my projects are let me turn the light on and as you can see I have a ton my husband's always getting on me about all this stuff so um, got a lot of projects a lot of shelving with other stuff that I'm going to be working on and then a lot of my supplies are over there so that room and it also has a door so I can close it off or lock it up however I choose and then if you come out of that room again that's my office over there 
Then this is the door that leads to the garage. And the garage is massive. It also has an attic up there. Um, and I'm working on this project here, a desk and table in the garage because the weather's been nice. But this is a door from the garage that leads out to the front. And then that's the door I just showed you that leads out to the back. So keep a lot of my supplies in here as well. I'm trying to keep it all organized, but it's not always easy. Let's rush through so that we can go ahead and show you the other side of the house. Again, I don't want to keep this video too long. I can turn this light off. Okay, so this is the other side. And that's the laundry room with the back door that I explained to you that leads back out to that covered patio. And this is the family room. So we're always in here. See Milo hiding on the other side of the table. He's kind of camera shy. Um, love it in here. The lighting isn't very good. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. But the sun is over the house right now. So it's not really doing justice in this room. So let me go ahead and just turn on a few lights and see if that helps. Ah, that that did that's better so this is this room and we sit in here and play games watch tv all of that um got that fireplace over there here's my trunk love that and then we keep extra pillows and blankets there for when we want to cozy up on the couch and then this is the half bath let me turn the light on this is the half bath, so it's very small, but I like it. I don't like this red color, so that'll go away eventually. Um, but I do love the fact that it has a pocket door. The laundry room also has a pocket door. I, I just love that detail. From there, right off the family room is the master. So you go through here and there's another fireplace. And if you turn right, you have a bathroom see and it's pretty nice size we want to get double vanities because of course there's the space for it um, and then this project I did also so you can find that video somewhere but nothing special there that's just the bathroom and then here's our bedroom it's really massive um, that dresser we just got so I'll be working on a project for that one um, wood burning fireplace in here and it's huge I don't know if I like the brick we'll see I don't know I'm just talking uh, that bench I love also we just got that from home goods love that and then this came from world imperial market it's like this big it's not world market it's an imperial uh, an import market and it's goes all the way up to the ceiling and these are nine foot ceilings so it's huge master closet walk in right there we're going to do a project in there and put up new shelves i don't like how it looks so i'm not going to show you that and then these side tables you saw these already i did a project on those go look it up if you haven't it's awesome so that is the master and let's go back out the master and in this room you could either go this way to get up the stairs or back that way to the front door and up the stairs so we'll go the we'll go this way and I'm not going to show you all of the rooms upstairs because I'm trying to keep this short and this house is pretty big so this is the sunroom that I showed you that's over the patio and it gets a lot a ton of natural light it's just one step down onto the carpeted area and then you get to see out to see how it all looks out there and then this little seating area we have and then I know you all remember that project at least my followers do I loved making that um, plant stand and all of my plants stay up here they get a lot of light they get stay warm they love it and there's my ponytail palm I have yet to planted actually in the planter so the plant is sitting in the plastic container in the nice planter so I got to fix that so when you come back out let's see beautiful chandelier it's pretty old but I like it this six foot wheeling let's see this 
is another six foot window that looks over the front. This is another six foot window that looks over the front and it's right here at the hall. So when you turn around, there's the railing and there's the stairs going down, sunroom back there. One bedroom here. It's got another bedroom here. And then a closet there. There's a ton of storage in this house, guys. So you got a closet there, bedroom, bedroom, another closet. And back this way, there is another bedroom, bathroom, and another bedroom. So there are tons of space in this house and I am completely smitten with it. That is all y'all. I hope you enjoyed this home tour. This is just to see where we are. We haven't been here but a few months. Um, so we still have a lot of furniture, decorating, painting, all of that stuff to do. But stay tuned and you will definitely see more. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.